Hey everyone, I'm Kirsten, but if you want to be BFFs, you can call me Kay, and I make videos weekly on digital planning and organization, as well as a mix of a little bit of tech, as it pertains to making it personal and more productive for your workflows. In this video, I am covering digital stickers in GoodNotes, importing and using sticker sheets, setting up and making the most of something called elements, and much more. So if you're trying to figure out how to use digital stickers that you've purchased from myself or maybe even others, this video will help you out. This video does not teach you how to make pre-cropped sticker sheets for GoodNotes or how to even make digital stickers themselves. I already have videos covering both of those topics that I'll link on screen and in the description for you to watch after this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, first up, let's talk about sticker sheets. Myself and now other digital creators offer something called pre-cropped sticker sheets that are encoded specifically for GoodNotes. This means that those files can only be opened and used in the GoodNotes application, but it doesn't matter the device that you're using. If you have GoodNotes on your iPad, you can use them there or GoodNotes on your Mac, your phone even, you will know it is a GoodNotes file because the file type ends with .goodnotes. Side note here, Google Drive hates GoodNotes files or any file type that's not the standard .png, .pdf, etc. So if you open a GoodNotes file or have a GoodNotes file saved in Google Drive for whatever reason and you click on it, you'll actually be able to see all the files that are necessary to encode the .goodnotes file extension. So to download and use pre-cropped GoodNotes sticker sheets, you'll just want to ignore all of that and hit the download button to proceed with the download process so you can use those pre-cropped sticker sheets. So don't go into all of this, just hit the download button. Regardless, I recommend using the Safari browser as well as Apple's built-in file management called Files because it is more seamless, especially with things like this. So if you're not familiar with pre-cropped GoodNotes sticker sheets, it's basically just a sheet of digital stickers that were already cropped and pulled into a GoodNotes file by me. And that just allows you to lasso and copy each individual sticker. That way you can paste it into your digital planner. You can also pull up the sticker sheet side by side with your digital planner, lasso and drag and drop them over into your planner. It's just a quick little tip. If you're not able to individually lasso a sticker, you want to make sure that under your lasso tool within GoodNotes that you have images toggled on. And if you're still not able to, then you're not using a sticker sheet for me and it is possible that you're not actually using a GoodNotes file. Remember that those files need to end in .goodnotes for them to work. Now let's talk about other ways that you can use digital stickers outside of pre-cropped digital sticker sheets. The first way is to just have the original individual sticker files. So for me, I just call those individual PNGs. Important tip here, PNGs can encode transparent backgrounds. So if your stickers are JPEG, for instance, those stickers will have a white background, which might not bother you if your digital planner has a white background, but that's just something to keep in mind. You can also have white backgrounds or any color background you want actually for PNG files, but PNG is the file extension you need if you want to have it encode transparency. So often individual PNG files will be zipped. And if you're on your iPad, you can unzip zip files by simply just tapping on the folder within the files app. If you're on your Mac, you'll just double click. You can save these individual PNG files to your camera roll if you wanted. I recommend just leaving them in the files app and organizing them for later, or you can move them into your preferred cloud file management software. With your digital planner open and then your file management software, you can actually pull them up in split screen and drag and drop them over. It's another great way of adding and using digital stickers. Or you can use the built-in image tool within the toolbar of GoodNotes to add images if you have them saved to your camera roll. So to import a pre-cropped sticker sheet, there are two ways. Number one, if you downloaded from Safari, head to files, the downloads folder, locate the file that ends in .goodnotes, and from here you can share it into the GoodNotes app. The second way is basically the reverse. 
Instead of heading to the Files app first, you'll head to GoodNotes, click the plus icon on the main screen, import from, and then find your .goodnotes file for your sticker sheet. Lastly, I wanted to cover Elements. Elements is a newer tool that was added by the GoodNotes team, and I do have a dedicated video on Elements and when it's a good idea to use them. But I did want to cover them again here because they added the exact feature I was hoping that they would add when I first made that Elements video that I actually mentioned in that video. So I'll have the video linked on screen and in the description for you if you wanted to check it out later. So Elements at its core is a clipboard manager. You can lasso and add whatever you want to save into something called a collection. And then you can access that across any file that you have imported into GoodNotes. You can add text, images, your own handwriting, essentially anything you want to lasso and add to elements, you can. Let's say you have a daily setup that you really love that features all of your favorite stickers, your handwriting, fonts. You can actually lasso that entire thing and save it as an element if you wanted to. But I want to cover an easy way to add your digital stickers into elements as collection for your most used stickers, which is when I would recommend using elements. So click on elements, Scroll all the way to the right and then click the plus icon. This is how to create a collection. You can name the collection whatever the sticker set is called and maybe the creator to keep things organized. And then the fastest way is to split screen and pull up all of those individual PNG files. And I'm going to hit select all and then drag and drop those over into elements. Now that everything is over into elements, just click done. And now I have all of my most used stickers imported and ready to go across all of my files that are imported into GoodNotes. A new feature that I am so happy that they finally added is the ability to share a collection. So all future sticker packs from KDRL Studio will offer a new file type that ends in .collection. So to import a .collection file, you guessed it, it, is the exact same way as you would import a .goodnotes file, since it's more or less the same thing. So files, downloads, and then click the file and share it to GoodNotes. It should automatically import into an Elements collection. So now there are three different file types of using digital stickers within GoodNotes. Make sure your GoodNotes is fully updated to at least version 5.8 because I have noticed with older versions of GoodNotes, it doesn't recognize the doc collections file extension. I will say though that the GoodNotes team does have a tendency to try a few features out and then kind of take them away aka the precision eraser, so it is entirely possible that importing and sharing elements collections might cause some people to run into some issues or there might not be future support for it. So I guess we'll see with time. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. If you have learned something from this video or enjoyed watching, be sure to give it a like. And if you're not subscribed yet, be sure to do that before you leave because I have videos just like this coming soon. If you want to see me before my next video, follow me over on Instagram, TikTok, or Twitter. But until then, I'll see you when I see you. Bye.